everybody and welcome back to another episode of Naughty News. We have lots to talk about for this month, which is shocking because at the start of this month there's barely any news and I was starting to worry that there wasn't going to be much to talk about. But no, we got tons of news now. This might be a long episode to, you know, get some snacks or whatever you need. But anyway, let's uh, start with the gaming topics as per usual. Uh, Dragon Ball Battle Hour happened uh, around, I can't remember the actual date now, but it happened this month of course, and there was tons and tons of uh, information and news they gave us. Like, they gave us Dragon Ball Fighters information, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is now out in Fighters and he's a blast, Three ninety nine to basically pay the win <laughs> for Fighters. We also got the new Dragon Ball Xenophus 2 uh, DLC story with PyCon and God of Destruction Turbo. We also got a new Dokkan and Dragon Ball Legends information, so there's like a LF Rose Goku Black that's out, and the new Trunks, and of course a lot more for tons of Dragon Ball Z games, like we got the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Future Trunks arc, and just so much, uh, it's like a 4 or 5 hour stream, so I'll put that in the link below. Doom VR, oh sorry, Doom 3 VR is coming out. Uh, I don't know why they're making a Doom 3 for y'all. Did they, did they even make a VR version? I know they made a VR version at the first one. But did they do the one as the second one? I can't remember. But hey, I saw the trailer. Looks clean, looks cool. I would love to play Doom 3 in VR. Actually, I'd love to play any of the Doom games in VR. It'd be pretty scary and fun. Microsoft also released a new trailer uh, called Microsoft Mesh. Now, from what I've seen from that trailer, it's... It's basically like you're mixing AR with VR. And if you don't know what AR is, uh, basically play any mobile game that has AR, like Pokemon Go. It's basically where like things such as like NPCs and stuff show up in the real world through your phone or through any type of device. But then VR, you're actually in that world, etc. and stuff like that. So it's like these glasses that Microsoft are making, and it's like a mix between AR and VR. I, I don't really know what to think of it. I don't really know how that's going to work, but hey, it looks interesting and I wouldn't mind to try it out. And there's also a new D&D game, I forget the name of the game, I think it's called Dark Alliance. I could be wrong though. But yes, D&D video game, uh, there has been uh, D&D video games before, and if you don't know what D&D is, it's Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, it's pretty fun. I don't play D&D that much in real life, because I'm not that much of a nerd. Uh, despite me having the series, but I would not mind to play the video game. It's very cheap. I was looking at it on the PlayStation Store the other day. It was it wasn't even fifty pounds, so I I think I can definitely get it and try it out. The Amonos airship is coming out March thirty first, and that is crazy because we've been waiting so long. Because in the last Naughty news, I said the airship was supposed to come out. I mean, come out, but it didn't because. I actually don't know why. Did, did they even say why? But yeah, it was delayed for some reason. Um, but now it's coming out on March 31st. Uh, me and Basement Gang, as well as some special guests, are going to be streaming it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you when we're streaming it. Actually, yeah, no, I will, we're going to be streaming it around April time. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, Kung Fu Panda x Brahala is now a thing, yes. So Kung Fu Panda has made his way into Brahala, as well as Tigris, and then the main villain of the first movie. Can't remember his name. But uh, I love the Kung Fu Panda movies. I uh, used to watch them a lot when I was younger. I've seen all of them, by the way. And Brahala is also a fantastic game. I have three Smash Bros, if you don't know what it is. And I would recommend it. It's it's probably gonna cost money though, of course, because the characters are all in game currency. But the in game currency in Brahala is super annoying to get. So it's pretty much pay to get the characters. Subnautica Below Zero release trailer came out. Now before you all start getting mad at me in the comment section, no, Subnautica Below Zero isn't actually out. When you saw YouTubers play it years ago, that was just its early access or beta or whatever. Subnautica Below Zero is the sequel to Subnautica, by the way, and uh, it's fantastic. It looks amazing. I don't think I'm going to get it, but hey, the full game is now coming out this year. So if you, if you love the Subnautica series, which I do, I do, I do like it a lot, uh, I recommend it. 
it's not just all water. It's like a mix between water and land this time. So if you like it, good. Uh, there's a new Crash Bandicoot mobile game. I got it on day one it came out, and it is a blast to play. I am addicted to it, literally. Like, I cannot stop playing it. I was playing it a bit just before recording this video. So, uh, it's very fun. Basically, the story is uh, Dr. Neo Cortex is grabbing Crash Bandicoot villains from all different dimensions and then sending them to the, you know, the current Crash dimension. And then your role in the game is to send them back to their original dimensions slash timelines. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool concept, and I like it a lot. The Elder Scrolls Online Flames of Ambition trailer, or Ambition trailer, I should say, and uh, I, I'm going to be re uh, totally honest here. I don't know what the trailer was on about. I watched the entire trailer, and I was confused throughout the entire thing. I was like, what? I never played Elder Scrolls Online, so that could be why. But I know a couple of people that like the Elder Scrolls series, and I used to do it a lot on my channel, so this is just some Elder Scrolls news for you. I think it's like a trailer for... Well, oh yeah, yeah, no, no, it's... <laughs> it's DLC, I think, for Elder Scrolls Online. But like I said, I'm not too sure, because I never played Elder Scrolls Online, and I'm not that interested in it. Watch Dogs Legion has an online mode, so... Uh, if you don't know what Watch Dogs Legion is, it's basically the newest Watch Dogs game. Uh, very cool looking, very fun. I actually saw a couple of YouTubers play the new online mode, and it looks like a blast. I would love to play that with Basement Gang, but I don't have Watch Dogs Legion. And I personally think from the gameplay that I've seen, I don't think it's as good as the first one. I think Watch Dogs, I mean Watch Dogs 2, I mean, Watch Dogs 2 is still my favorite Watch Dogs game. And I don't think anything can change that. Uh... Fiag Chat has new custom avatars. So you can make your new custom avatars. It's like a ready player one type of thing. Uh, me and Ben have made our avatars and they are very cool looking. So if you would like to have your own custom avatar in Fiag Chat without having to use the other ones from different worlds, this new feature allows you to do that. It's a website called readyplayer.me, I think it was. And uh, it's pretty cool and interesting, and more features are to come in the future, so yes, definitely stay tuned to that. Uh, brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game's coming out, and it's called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, and uh, it's on Steam right now. Well, the, the game itself isn't on Steam, but like it's it has a Steam page for you to pre-order the game, and I saw the trailer, it looks epic. I still like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles a lot, uh, you can't see it, but I have a whole stack of PlayStation 2 games beside me here, and three of them are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. So, uh, but yes, I do enjoy the series a lot still, even though I don't watch the new ones because the new ones are trash. Uh, but hey, if you still want to play Ninja Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games, they're right there for you on Steam, and I think it's coming to console as well, so definitely uh, look out for that. The Square Enix presentation happened recently. I don't even know, sh should I call it a presentation? Uh, it's like Square Enix Presents live stream happened, and it showed a lot of new games, a lot of new information. So we had uh, Life is Strange True Colors, which is a brand new Life is Strange game, one of the award-winning games of the Square Enix company. And I've never played a Life is Strange game, but that's okay, because they said this one opens a whole new gate to new players, because it doesn't hold any spoilers to the other Life is Strange games. So this will definitely be my first Life is Strange game I get. Outriders was also announced at the Square Enix presentation. Outriders is like a co-op shooter game that has a lot of unique customization. You can even put the skulls of your enemies on your vehicles, and it looks badass, I must say. So, uh, yes, definitely check that out. It's also on the PlayStation Store right now. And then the game Forspoken was also shown. Forspoken actually had a different name. Uh, back at the PlayStation 5 uh, presentation, back when PS5 was coming out, uh, they, they showed a little sneak peek of this game, but it was called, like, Project Anthea or something. Project something. It had a walking title. But now it's called Forspoken, and we were showing more gameplay. Beautiful game, and I am, out of all the games I've shown, I'm definitely more hyped for that one. So, I'm definitely keeping my eyes tracked on that. 
And I scroll on down. That is that okay, that does it for the gaming topics of Naughty News for this month. Now let's move on to some other news. Hell of a boss episode four is out to watch right now. Yes. Uh I seen it. It was about the she or the chi -woobs. I don't know how to say their names. But uh the the whole the whole the the whole story of that episode is basically this old guy wants to end his life, which the main characters are trying to help him with that. But then the she -woobs are trying to stop him from ending his life. It's a pretty funny episode, amazing. I think you should watch it if you have not already for some reason. There's a brand new Tom Clancy movie. It's called Tom Clancy's Without Remorse. It's a Amazon exclusive, if I remember correctly. And I can't remember what the trailer had in it because I watched it so long ago, but it was definitely cool looking. And since but since it's an Amazon original, I'm not gonna be watching it anytime soon. And I think the main the main actor, he was uh he was one of the villains in the Black Panther movie. I forget his name. God damn it. I'm always forgetting people's names. Doesn't matter, just all you need to know is there's a new Tom Clancy movie and it looks sweet. Uh, Fanos Gaming has his own web show called Alpha Betas. If you haven't watched Alpha Betas yet, what are you doing? Literally, the first, I mean, the pilot episode came out and it's truly amazing. It's basically about these four uh, gamers that are going into the code of video games to fix any problems because video games in this in this world power the power the world or at least america but it, it powers a lot of things so uh imagine one in the entire system and planet on video games it's pretty epic the first game they go into is redhead intervention which is a red dead you know reference i'm a gamer <laughs> anyways you should definitely check that out it's also created by the same creators of Rick and Morty. So if you love the Rick and Morty series, you're definitely going to love Alpha Betas. Shez's Monster House has a Twitter now. Not much to say there really, just Shez's Monster House has a Twitter. You should check us out. Please. Also, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this. I don't know if Ben gives me permission for this, but we have a new thing. We're working on a new thing right now. Uh, it's called Fright Squad. I voice the Grim Reaper. That's all I'm going to say, though. If you want more info, check out Ben's Critter. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World 10th Anniversary. Woohoo! So if you've never watched Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, it's literally a movie for gamers. And it's very fun. Very funny. And it's just overall an amazing movie, and I understood a lot of the references in it. And since it's the 10th anniversary, the, the original actors, they reunited and did like a table reading, I think. So that's cool to see that they're still, you know, doing things like this for movies that came out ages ago. There's also a Scott Pilgrim video game, but I'm pretty sure you already knew about that, so I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, Family Guy, Futurama, Cleveland Show, American Dad, and Star are all on Disney+. Plus. In the last episode, I talked about how they were coming to Disney+, Plus, but now they're actually officially out. Uh, I don't I don't think Deadpool 2 is out, though, because I didn't see it. So the Deadpool 2... Uh, I can't even speak English. The Deadpool 2 thing was probably just a rumor or something. Because I, I didn't see Deadpool 2. It's on Netflix anyway, so I don't think it really matters that much. More Disney Plus news, Raya and the Last Dragon is now on early access, so uh, if you want to watch that movie, like right now, you will have to pay an extra free to do so. But I'm just going to patiently wait until it's like free in Disney Plus, rather than me having to pay extra, uh, because I'm patient enough. And it's created by the same people that made Moana and Frozen, I think, so definitely a movie you should check out. Sony? Oh, oh yes, oh yes. So, this is, you could technically classify this as gaming news, but I'm, I put it in here anyways. Sony bought the EVO Championship series. If you don't know what EVO is, it's literally like a championship thing, like tournaments for games, such as Dragon Ball Fighter, Street Fighter, uh, the new Guilty Gear game, and it's it's amazing. And I love EVO a lot, because I'm always, I mean, i never been to a proper EVO tournament, but I always watch them live and stuff. But uh, yeah, Sony bought them. I think it was a lot of money, 
like almost a billion, I think. Or was it a billion? They they bought the they bought Evo for a lot of money. And I don't know what they have planned. But I, I hope they don't do anything bad with it because I do like the Evo Championship series a lot. Now before I continue, we are gonna have a commercial break for this month's free games. Joining us for the very first time on Naughty News, Random GSE. On to you, Random. Thank you, Lee. Hello everyone, I'm Random GSE, and welcome to the first ever free games of the month, where I cover free games coming out this month, and free games I recommend you playing. And this month, we have a lot of free games for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So listen well, Sony players. We have two ocean-themed games that are Abzu and the world-famous Subnautica. Abzu, made by the same creators of Journey and Flower, is an ocean game where you discover many gorgeous sea creatures from real life, exploring the depths to find even better fish. Now, Subnautica is a really well-known game, but I'll explain for the ones who, who do not know. Subnautica is a game by Unknown Worlds, where you crash land on planet 4546B, a planet covered in water. You must explore this ocean planet to find a way to escape, finding materials, but there are many dangerous alien sea creatures around, so be prepared. Now let's get out of the water and play some, play with some guns. We have Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon is a dungeon crawler game where you must shoot guns and be a badass. So if you enjoy guns and not a lot of story, we have this game for you. Now we have our last game for the PlayStation category. For the PlayStation VR, a demo for Astrobot Rescue Mission. Astro Bot Rescue Mission is a classic Sony platformer, now has a demo for a VR platformer, so go check it out. Now we go to the PC category, with a, we have Creature in the Well via the Epic Games Launcher. Creature in the Well is a top-down pin, pinball-inspired hack-and-slash dungeon crawler as the last remaining Bot C unit. Venture deep into the desert mountain to reserve power to an ancient facility haunted by a desperate creature. Uncover the... And upgrade powerful gear in order to free the city of Mirage from a deadly sandstorm. Now for the Xbox category, we have Warface Breakout. Warface Breakout is a CSGO style game that is completely free with no microtransactions, so all players get everything equally. Unfortunately, we have no free games for, for Switch this month. We go to the recommended free games bar, where I tell you some free games that you should try. Now, okay, for the PC, I recommend Do You Copy, a game that, that I have covered in my YouTube channel, where you guide a hiker through the woods as a security guard in the fire tower, but something are in those woods. And now, to end this section off, I have Brawlhalla, a game available for our platforms. Brawlhalla is a Smash Bros-like game, knock your opponents off the arena, with many characters with different abilities to choose, and it's on eSports, so maybe you can become a pro. Well, that's all for, all for free games of the month. Back to Yuli. Thank you, Random, for the wonderful uh, presentation you gave us there for the free months. I mean, free games of this month. Uh, now, anyways, let's move on to channel news. This is the part of Naughty News where I give one lucky subscriber, viewer, or friend a shout out. And this month's shout out goes to Anthony Joseph Gaming. Congratulations, my guy. Uh, I watched this channel. Recently, I saw his Animal Crossing tour video, island tour video, and I also saw his using PS5 accessories without a PS5. Very entertaining videos. I love them a lot. Uh, he also can, like, stay on script a lot. Like, he's he's better reading scripts than I am. Because, like, I did say in a Naughty News video before that I don't actually have a proper script for these videos. I just have bullet points, and then I go off those bullet points myself. But uh, yeah, shout out to you, Anthony Joseph Gaming. Uh, please check him out. I was gonna say get him to 100 subscribers because he was at 98 when I did all the scripting, but now he's at 108, I believe. So congratulations! But I need this man at 150 subs right now. I know you guys can do that. I know you guys have the talent to do so. The talent, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Just sub to him. <laughs> uh, speaking of channels, uh, Basement Gang has a channel. I said this in the last video as well, but you need to know because we uploaded our very first video. Woohoo! And it was Cards Against Humanity. And if you love offensive humor, I think you should definitely check out our first video. It was 
definitely offensive to say the least. Uh, but yes, please check our basement gang as well. I also have a second channel called Greenlee Clips. I made a full video talking about that before, but if you haven't seen it, I'm just going to talk about it here. Because what Greenlee Clips is, it's basically a channel where I post clips from my trick streams and some past videos on this channel. So if you want to see some mostly out of context Greenlee Clips, I think Greenlee Clips is the place for you to go. And speaking of subscribing to channels, by the way, 39% of yous that are watching my content are not yet subscribed. Now, why is that? I feel like you should subscribe right now because it's free. You don't need to pay a fee. So, subscribe. And hit that notification bell. Now, Enough of me rambling on about channels and news. I'm Ben, with the weather report. Ben? Well, Lee, nobody said being a weatherman was going to be easy. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it snows. Sometimes it rains again. Sure, let's go with that. Sometimes you don't know which hat to wear while given the weather. Sometimes you're just gonna have to go no hat. Sometimes, you're getting stuck in your own goddamn bathroom. Sometimes, you're falling in the snow. Sometimes, you're just eating food. The question on everyone's mind is, why? People don't come here for jokes. They come for the weather, and it's my duty to give them that weather. Solely, you asked. You asked for the weather, so I shall give the weather. And I, as a weatherman, am proud to say, Very good. Back to you, Lee. Thank you, Ben, for that weather report. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share the video, as well as check out my social links in the description below. And I'm just going to say this one more time, don't forget to check out the Basement Gang channel as well. Uh, but anyway, that does it for this video, and I hope to see you all later. Goodbye.